Hello YouTube friends and welcome. In this video I would like to share with, with you another really nice Tusa knife. This is the TS-137. Uh, it also has a name, it's called the Stargazer. It is all on a medium size. And uh, in this video, since I got two, because I won the, the auction, um, I would like also show you how uh, the knives from Tucson come. Because some of you did saw these uh, stained boxes in my previous videos. And I know that it is good to have um, protection while uh, the knife is uh, stored and traveled, but as you can see, there is uh, there is a lots of lots of oil. So basically, uh, this is uh, three times wrapped or two times wrapped in a plastic, and there is a bunch of oil. I will not open it up just to, uh, to spill it everywhere here, but uh, yeah. Your knife uh, will come uh, secured or protected if you are buying directly from them. So after quick uh, wipes with a paper towel and apply a little bit of cleaning alcohol, uh, you will have a beautiful knife. Okay, so the the Stargazer is designed by uh, Mazvan Mort Mortar. I hope I did not butcher your name. So this is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the third uh, designer or uh, knife designer who is working with uh, Tucson or has submitted uh, designs or they have contacted him. I don't know the the story behind him. The most uh, well-known designer for, uh, or should I say in-house probably designer, is uh, Night Morning. Uh, then they um, have another one, it's called Wong. And then they have a few other designers they are working with and will be working in the future. And this is uh, one of them. So here is his uh, maker's mark. Uh, so let's see the uh, specifications just real quick. So we have an O length of 18 centimeters or 6.7 inches. The handle length is 10.4 uh, centimeters or 4.1 inch. The blade uh, uh, thickness is 1.3. Uh, sorry, the handle thickness is 1.3 centimeters or 0 0.5 inch. The handle length is 7.6 centimeters or 3 inches. The blade thickness is 3.8 millimeters or 0 0.15 inch. The blade width is 3.4 cm or 1.3 inch, made out of uh, D2, and the handle is made out of TC4 titanium alloy plus uh, carbon fiber. This is always good to see that uh, they are uh, using the real deal, so there is no uh, G10 uh, carbon fiber sticker applied, but full stock carbon fiber. Which are really nicely patterned. The weight of the knife comes in at 102 grams or 3.6 ounces. Runs on uh, ceramic bearings. It's really smooth and as you can see it is a front flipper but of course you can open it smoothly uh, with using this uh, opening hole or it's a little bit hard to to open it at close but you can get it without problem it has a 3d milled uh, pocket clip made out of also titanium and also a backspacer or should we Test it out. Yeah. Mm 
only the screws are steel and of course the blade like I mentioned D2 so we see really nice and even in my Excel size hand it is really comfortable and these uh, cleaver uh, shaped blades are uh, really beautifully uh, made and also very popular today so okay let's see some uh, size comparisons firstly you know i had to bring out the ts111 which is obviously a larger knife and I have here Kershaw Shuffle 2. If you're also interested, here's the Shuffle 1. Then let's see. Large Grapillion. Sorry about that. Small Reptilian Here is the Delica Also the Endura Pug Vantage Pro Kershaw Skyline And 940 from Benchmade. So, in my opinion, a really beautifully made design. Really good functioning as ADC blade. You can get a ton out of uh, these blade shapes. So, also, uh, you can use it in the kitchen preparing some uh, food yeah so overall happy to have this one in the collection uh, price wise we are looking at um, 69.99 uh, directly from the reseller I found on uh, Aliexpress uh, on eBay yeah it depends on uh, for how much you you win the auction um, they can go as high as, uh, as 81 which I paid for this knife and this is just how it is uh, the resellers on Aliexpress uh, do not um, always have uh, these new new releases uh, available so um, just keep that in mind that if you like a good price then just maybe probably wait and compare the pricing so with the Aliexpress uh, listings and then uh, just bid on on the eBay page for whatever price you are comfortable with and yeah here's the centering real quickly so yeah Excellent, excellent design. Really like this knife. Okay, so if you have any questions, uh, leave comments down below. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much. If you are not, then I consider you please subscribe. Uh, I try to release at least three uh, videos per week, mostly knives and gear oriented, of course. Sometimes uh, I also release. Uh, hobby stuff, miniature painting, Warhammer and such, okay? Okay, so, have a nice day.